Hey, good morning, fish heads. Jen Crevasi, Jekyll Bates. It's another quick workshop update. I'm excited about today because I'm going to be spraying a couple of patterns on a spray session. And then tomorrow I'm going to have a ton of stuff going out. So on a work note, um, contrary to Fridays, I'm still getting stuff done. I know that there are still active orders out there and I'm spraying them. If I, have, if I have the materials to do them, I'm doing it. And those of you that I do not have the materials for currently, you have all been notified. So thank you for your grace. Thank you for your kindness and your patience and yada, yada, yada. You guys know who you are. Um, let's get into what we do have this morning. I've got um, a few pieces going out. I'd like to get started with this four piece, Don David. He has been waiting for a while for these. These two are the craws which I'm pretty happy with. Love this pattern. I'm going to be doing a lot of that this spring. Um, and this is the Imperial Crawl. It's pretty much just the blue on this one and the white. Lots of glitter for him. He loves his glitter. One little tip. I'm going to add some tips in here as we go. If you are glittering, uh, you might get a couple of pieces of glitter on your bill when you're clear coating, but I always clear coat first and then sprinkle the glitter on after. And then it's gonna get a second coat because one thing that you'll notice if you are glittering after you've clear coated while it's tacky and wet is that it has a tendency to be a little bit raised up. So what I do to take care of that is just add that second thin coat and then it is completely covered over and ready to go nice and shiny just like he likes it so we've got two of those pieces for him this one back here is that pre-foiled um, these are the vision 110s very similar to in that pre-foiled pattern these are the suspending there are also lots of slow sinks out there so make sure that you know what you're getting when you get these because they come there are very few except for the the lucky strike rick cleanse that are also the mega knockoffs um, that will stand true to what they say they are so be sure if you're getting a floating that it floats before you advertise it as a floating just just saying a little food for thought there folks and then the crappie in the same this is going out to fernando castillo along with other pieces that are currently on the clear coat rack these little guys so this is a flat-sided minnow fat bodied minnow and this has been a wildly popular pattern recently and it's real good real bright loud this time of the year and I also have it in the blue as well, the tricolor in blue with those beautiful pearl, pearl eyes. So these are coming into play. I have swam these. I always struggle with the swam, swam, swam. Language eludes me. It's Monday. But they have a really good wobble in the water. They are slow rise. There's two different weights that are available for this particular blank. One is 10 grams, one is 13 grams. 13 grams obviously being a little bit closer to a half an ounce. Um, 10 grams being around 3 eighths. I have not picked up the 13 gram. So the 10 I've tested, it does, it's a slow float, slow rise. Um, trolls really well. It uh, dives really well down to about three and a half feet. Uh, it's got that little scoop just to pull it pop it down real quick and I love the hunting action in this so you can rip it you can float it you can pause it just like you would on a jerk bait you can also crank it like you would a crank bait um, multifaceted I do like this this blank very very much and there you have it and there it is and I'm not sure which one of one of them are carrying this but I believe that it's available so there you go there you have it. That is all the news. It's fit to print. Real quick video because I need to get right into my spray session filming. And I will see you on the next video probably tomorrow. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.